today being the seventh day in the month of June on when you can see Lafo. From me, from here, it is good afternoon. Depending your own time factor, I said to you, good morning, good evening, and good night. Great dear friends and lovers of freedom, we are here once again to continue this gospel of truth, gospel of liberation of the choosing people of God, dear friends. We are here today to discuss more on the oil in Abba Abbey Estate. by the killing of our own brothers who are serving in Nigeria military. Great dear friends and lovers of freedom, my name remains Lion Man Leone, your own brother, your own friend, a dear friend, and an IPOB, a proud IPOB member, because we find it very, very important to join the voice of God to help in the gospel of Biafra for our own freedom. God called our own prophet, Mazen Nando Bukano, for this mission. And this mission must be accomplished and we must get to the point and the result the total result of freedom through democratic manner that is what IPOB is pushing irrespective of the humiliation and the torture, killings, provocation by the Nigerian state, IPOB have found its way always to remain calm and peaceful. Remember some time ago, that was 2018, there was advice given to Nigerian state concerning the issue of Biafra by the British government. And that advice was, do not make declaration of official offensive against Biafrans, but make it tactical, make it a strategic one Carry the war out unpronounced, unofficially pronounced, so that the world will not rally by the side of Biafrans. This advice was given by Nigeria by given to Nigeria State in 2018. Those in the leadership and the Mazen Nandukan is aware of this particular advised by the British government. And since then, I've been monitoring this particular activities to know if Nigeria state have declared, have activated that particular advice. Then I discovered that they have activated that particular advice. Because Britain are very, very intelligent. The reason why they advised Nigerian state not to declare war like they did in 1967 to 1970 is very simple. You know, sometimes when things are happening, if you don't reveal it to media to those who are carrying those activities out, those who are carrying those activities out will think that they are smart, that the people they are dealing with 
are not engaged or they are not connected to information. Like uh, there is a parable in Igbo language said, "No ko kole timpu lebe brula mwanya ore timpu a lo aga napota ebe mwa, but iho je timpu a boko wa ka madla mono liya lebe ebrugo mwa." You know, when a hawk is carrying a fowl, the fowl will always cry, shout, so that the owner of the fowl will know that, yes, the hawk has taken away one of the child of that fowl. But nevertheless, I have said it time with a number, we are not creating this awareness or revealing the plans of these particular people, Funani and Britain against us, that the world will do anything about it. Like I always tell the members of my fellow members in IPUB, nobody will fight for you. This is the world we are. If anybody tell you that they are coming to rescue you, to liberate you, is it? 100% lie. The world is championed and uh, carried out by the what we call world vested interest. And this world vested interest is much in action in the state of Nigeria. Nigeria, because Nigeria state as a nation, because of Biafra, give away many things to the Westerners. Give so many opportunities that no country in this world can give the Westerners such opportunity of taking their resources for free to ensure that they get back up, that they maintain back up by their side to carry out anything they want to do against the people of Biafra. And the reason for this advice in that 2018 was British intelligence agent told Nigeria government if he declare war like the one of to, to 1967 to 70 that the war is not going to last up to 60 days that the Biafra will surround them and even conquer them that was the advice of the British government go and ask Bugaria, uh, let Mohammed Bugari administration they will tell you and they asked this question how how can Biafra surround them they give them so many examples. They said, if we move as a Britain to come and help you, like we did last time, to come and massacre them. He said they have hundreds of Biafran's origin in their marine and their army and in their police. And so many blood of Biafras are in their forces. He said, these people, most of them are in a, in a high rank in their country. And these people, they will never close their eye and allow the people to perish. It's, it's going to be a backfire. He said, they are going to, those ones are going to do something that will make them even lose their army on ground in Biafra. They say the same thing is applicable to U.S. The same thing is applicable to Italy. The same thing. They count many countries where Biafrans are army and the police. They say the fight is not going to be easy. Say so Nigeria is going to. There is no way Nigeria will not lose hundred percent. And if they don't take care, that Biafra may decide to conquer them and now rule over them without even going back to without even mining only Biafra state. Say so they will they will slave all of them if they made a mistake. And what did Nigeria did? 
they begin to use that thing that the mistake of Guam is what Nigerians are correcting today. That's what Nigeria state are correcting today. They are making the correction of that mistake of Guam. Remember what Guam said after the war. He said if he have knew that the Igbos love money in this manner, that he, he couldn't have shot away from one bullet in the name of Biafra war. So what he could have done is to empower one person. That person will help them be destabilizing the Igbo land. Now, what is going on? I want to call the assessors of IPO members together back. What, is, what do you think that is going on today in Biafra land? We are in a strategic war, pure war. Look at what happened in Naba. What happened in Naba, do you think is the Funanese and the Britain planned that killing to stop the development in Naba? Because that was the target. Stop the development in Naba and uh, divert our attention on what we want to demand after Biafran Remembrance Heroes Day. I know that something is going to happen. They wanted to use Pitamba. But it got to the point. Pitamba dodged some responsibility they placed on him concerning that particular 31st, uh, uh, 38th May. Go and ask Pitamba. Pitamba dodged them. And they, now they are not too happy with him because they put him there. Peter Mba dodged what they asked him to carry out in Enugu. Then they meet with all Joseph Okano and the man, the ABC Biara, the one that contested the election as, op as opposition of uh, Alex Oti. All Joseph Okano was there. All Joseph Okano was in that meeting. Uh, what is the name of this man? The APC uh, gov uh, governorship uh, uh, flag bearer was there. The deputy of our Ndibo president was there. And uh, my surprise. I have taught many officers of Biafra serving in Nigeria, other police or army. I have given them this advice several times. But sometimes when we give them advice, I don't know what they really, really take, take or may I say what gives them confidence is what they are carrying, the, the rifle they are carrying. And I, I don't know how a train officer will be having such confidence in a rifle that they are carrying, in which they know that the rules and regulation of rifle is whoever that is whoever that is hand is on trigger wins the have the victory. There is no muscle in carrying gun. It doesn't carry God, I, I am huge, I am, I, I am muscular. No. God is whoever that really, that they have put hand on trigger, win the battle. You may carry a gun that you may carry AK-49, someone with compassion, ordinary compassion that check up, will hit you with that. As far as he, as far as he was the one that first released, you are going down. This is part of the training. So that's why you must be very careful and use your brain in terms of some, some, the sense of weapon. The vice president of Ohandes and Debo was in that meeting. Ojo Kado was in that meeting. The flag bearer of of APC uh, in Abia State was in that meeting. What they planned that day, they thought that IPOB member we did mistake they did last time. 
when they come out to to march on the thirty first day, on the thirtieth day, which I probably lost up to is it eleven members or twelve members? Because that was the time of that hit of autopilot. So some of those guys were like DOS are not doing it well. They don't know what they are doing. And the DOS said, don't go. That last time, DOS said, don't go out there. They ignore it because of they thought that the criminal in Finland, the Finland was, they thought that he's a dear friend. So they said they have to do something different in other way to, to save Mazin and to bring Mazin and the can out. And the leadership said, don't go. This time around, do it indoor. If that is not necessary. And then when they were, at, they, they were attacked. And this time around, they knew. Because there's somebody giving them information. They knew that nobody is coming out, not even rat is coming out of the street. So how, and going to people's house to attack them, we make, we create, even though, even the Britain that is supporting them, that is giving them this idea, even the British, we, we, we hide. British, we know that, no, this people, no, no. We didn't say you on this. This is, this is too much. How can you go to people's house and, and be killing them? Where they are mourning, they are remembering the those that died for them. You couldn't have done that. You could have waited for them to come out from the road. And since they don't come out, then you take your gun back. You don't need to kill them. Because they have asmarted you by being by staying indoor. And this is why they selected all the five officers were all beer friends. Now my question is these guys which they send mission imagine that's why you see to tell yourself the truth until you begin to tell yourself the truth that is only when you have privilege to live and survive in this life when a man is always lying to himself his survival is very very difficult with this we have told them that you are not the same thing with the nigerian state you are being hated all around. Our people in police are being hated, even with the bad job they are doing in other way to gain their colleagues from north, from west. At the end of the day, they still they, they do, do you know what they call, do you know what attracts hatred on you by the other tribe? It is God. This is God doing. You are more than them. You are hundred percent more than them, and uh, on this, that most blessings, and as soon as God chooses the particular people, He will attract hatred. Look at Israel in the Middle East. Look at how they were surrendered. Enemy surrendered them, like enemy surrendered the Biafras. Let me tell you, the billionaires who are investing in Lagos. They keep on demolishing their investment and keep on frustrating them. This is the part of strategy given to them by the British. These people are connected to God. God will always be there for them and bless them. So the only way you will be suffering them is to make them start afresh. Make them, what they are doing in Lagos, make them, let them start afresh. Let them start afresh. Destroy the one they have viewed. Let them start afresh. And the same people they are dealing with are even buying the idea of their enemy. As I'm speaking now, upon all what is going on, some morons are still ignoring the warning of IPOB about investing outside the Afro land. I've said this in time with that number. The wisest, Biafran, the wisest person in Biafra land don't even support to build anything outside Biafra. If you feel that your money is too much, you want to build something and you don't want to build it in Biafra land, 
Take your investment to Senegal. Take your investment to Ghana. Take your investment to South Africa. Take your investment to, to, to Malawi. These are the places you can invest. If you feel like our, our investment, Laboon, take your investment there. Our own brothers and our sisters that graduated from university, if you open those companies there, you employ them there. If you have up to 100 workers, it is done in every country. You reach agreement with those countries. I am going to employ 60% of your people and 40% of my people. It is done everywhere in the world. You come and pull them out and give them job. Give them job in Senegal. Give them job in Ghana. Give them job. How can you be investing in the domain of your enemy? And you are crying after the, the enemy have done what they want to do concerning the investment. Why am I saying this thing? Understand, I am talking to our brothers and our sisters in the army and the police today. Understand that your enemy that hated their father will hate you. He can never hate your father and they come to your turn, you will change. It's not possible. You will inherit the same hatred. It's like any son of a Wolo will now come and meet an Igbo man or Igbo lady and say, I love you. Who told you? The blood speaks. That blood will, will still, I knew uh, uh, that is. One of the company of uh, Awolowo son in the Keja GRA. Very close to the uh, 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 Lego uh, uh, Ikeja people's uh, Ikeja's uh, club. If you are an evil person, you send your CV there. What I'm telling you is, is, a, is a, that place is a. Um, Will I call it chalet or will I call it all this, all this hotel, lodge? But not that too big. When we was around, we know how many our Igbo brothers and our sisters are sent CV there. They never take them. Because that is instruction given by our little son. Do not employ any Igbo, any Igbo here. There was a lady from Delta. That was 2011. She sent her CV and even I admit, I say, he said, I said, no, I said, they're not going to give you a job. They said, how do you, the lady said, how? I said, they are not going to give you a job in that lodge because you are an Igbo. He said, no, I'm not Igbo, he's a data. I said, okay. Go there, if you go there, the management of that lodge will help you to identify your, uh, will help you to identify your, <laughs> your originality. Well, since you don't know your originality, since you are from Delta, you are not Igbo. Go there. I said, what is the name that you are bearing in this uh, certificate? In Kechi. But you are not Igbo. Uh, take it there. Surprisingly to her, she took it there. And she was rejected. That's the whole of son for you. But the same guy we pick one if leaf and use that if leaf. Maybe may give that if leaf like five million. Take debunk what IPOB are claiming concerning me. And if we will see the if we go to Channel TV. We saying the, the, the son of Awolo will have his own life to live. He can never follow the footsteps of the father. Of course. This is what we are this is what we are facing within our own people. Look 
at the meeting upon all the crime, all the atrocities that Joseph Kabo committed in Abia State, still, he is still committing more. They all circled where in that meeting. So what they resulted is, okay, how can we do it? They sent five Igbo sons on duty on a day. Everybody is indoor. Remembering those that fought for them, remember those that sacrificed their life and laid their life down during the Afro genocide and during recent time. Then my question is, which I have asked one of the colleagues, I said, it, even the guy said, I don't know how this, my brother's reason sometimes. He said, how can people, how can army, Nigerian army is combined with Yoruba is there, Aosa is there, Funami is there, Middlebert is there, every other tribe is there. Then they selected all of you to be Igbo. Then all of you enter, enter van to where? To hell. And brother to the other one was saying it. He said his brother said something that is not. He said the sign he is getting since two days. He said brother told him that on 29 that the sign he is getting is not good. Say he will just tell like this. It's as if that people are standing in his front. He said don't know what happened. He said his brother was complaining and complaining about strange thing that is feeling at the end of the day he became victim of Ojo Zokano Ohanes and Dibu and the APC flag bearer in Abia State he became their victim what is that Ojo Zokano what is exactly Ojo Zokano wanting in Abia State what does the kind of came as a governor in Abia State? Destroy Abia State, destroy Abba, destroy the trading hub of Africa. Because that was Abba was the trading hub of Africa. Are you talking about clothing? People from Lagos come to Abba to buy clothes. People from Benin Republic come to Abba to buy all the way. They come to Abba to buy clothes. People from Cameroon, people from Senegal. How many of you know all these things there? People from Burkina Faso. Come to about to buy goods. The same Funani use all Joseph Cannon to crash Abba. Bring Abba to bottom. And since that time, all the people, all Joseph Cannon initiated into politics, have followed the same step of all Joseph Cannon. Bringing Abba down, down. Look at what Okezi uh, Bazu did in Abba. Eight years wasted looting, 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 defrauding themselves, calling the say they're suffering the people. Now this man have come. Remember what I I I, I was I, let me say what the discussion I was having with some officers. I said one of them said me, told me, say if the first four four years of uh, OT finishes. He said the, the kind of gun they will shoot for Abia State in the next election. He said even Afghanistan, Afghanistan war will not be anything to compare to it. Before the guy says that, I said no. I said I, I said we know. He said because he said they are not happy. He said Abuja, he, an officer, he said Abuja is not happy about Abuja State. The kind of vision that this man has in Abuja, he said they are not happy. He said they are not happy. They wanted to remove him through manipulation, exactly what they did in Abuja. And the Britain told them, no, don't go that area. 
Don't go that area. Just be patient until he finishes his fourth, his four years. Then carry out war in that state and put whoever you want to put. Now I want to. This is exactly what I said. That was easy. Two thousand and two thousand and three. 2023, 2023. That was, I think, May. I said something concerning what happened to these people in Naba. I said, any Igbo officer, whenever your commander asks you for duty and you look around and see that, that is how I lost my best friend. That's how I lost my, I lost my best friend. That was the last year, uh, 2023. And I was discussing this with you. I said, one, as we are a special squad, federal government special squad, don't ever, if you see any commander that say go to so 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 place and they look around inside that vehicle, all of you are the same evil. One, if they send you to post to B, change the direction. It's better they throw you inside that room after you go to work and come back alive. Because they will go there and search for you to kill you. They will not see you. They will not see you guys. But they will question you. Find one story to lay to tell them. If they don't accept the story, then allow them to handcuff you and put you in that guard, guard room. It's more better than to take, for them to take your life. Then if they have done it, if you have do that two times and they want, they keep on punishing you, resign one day. What you ask me, say, nah, if I resign, I get a camaro. What am I going to be doing? He, he was among the people that hope was already mass slaughtered in Nemo State. One certain time, you know, those officers that were running, one run into into uh, into restaurant. I never knew that he he's trying, 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 trying try, until I get to this brother. Brother said, "No, he died." I said, "So he was among these people." That ran, the one that ran into the restaurant, they went there and shoot this restaurant woman. And in, I think that woman died too in the hospital. The owner of the restaurant in the in, in, in Imo State. He was among them. And all of them, all of them inside that patrol were all Igbos. The same thing now happened again in other state. I don't know when we will be talking to our people, they will listen to. They will listen to those that are telling them the truth. They always follow the voice of liars, voice of deception. This is, I don't know, it's only in Nigeria that I see people who tell lies get more grand than people who tell the truth. Only in Nigeria. They tell me how God will not punish such nation. Not such nation. Tell me how God will not punish such nation that despise truth and they love lies. I was discussing with somebody that I said, look at uh, Dr. Abel, Pastor Dr. Abel, Danami. Look at Moses from Europe. I said, look at all who, all, how all the Pentecostal churches, all of them gathered. If there is any way they will, they will assassinate the man today, tomorrow, they will do it. They will assassinate these two people. The other idiot was on earth and said, hey, they are now, they, they are now making the mockery of Christianity, teaching false prophet, uh, teaching uh, for, uh, uh, false uh, teaching, and leading people to hell. I look at him and look at him. The same, look at this, look at criminal trying to, de try to, you know, blackmail somebody who is telling the truth. I say, you and this man who do it like God love, that say that telling the truth to his creature. You that will come, you say the you you do this, you do this. How can somebody? How can some? How can somebody say I talk to God? I went outside and sit inside my car. Ten million naira uh, 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 a lot sanded. God sent ten million into my account. God sent ten million into your account. And some people will tell you the things of the spirit is not for a carnal man. 
Fools everywhere. Scammers. This is a man who have built himself to the level of he can you know who to call and say, Mr. So, -so, so person, I need money urgent. Please, can you? There are people that there are people that have this money. They don't even they have it to the point that they don't even know where to waste it. They don't know where to spend the money. And this kind of man have grown to that level of calling, putting somebody on the phone and say, please. Can I have 10 million naira now in my account? It's very, very urgent. And somebody somebody will pay it in, into his account. The what stop him for telling the world, ah, God is giving me favor, God is giving me grace. That I was a time I needed money, and I called one of my members, or one of my, he can be all of them now, everybody in a son. Both the one that senior them, everybody in a son to them. I call okay, one of my son, or I call one of my daughter. And immediately, he or she pay into my account. Speaking the truth without deceiving anybody. He said, God, God deposit money. Which account did they deposit up? Give us the account number. Can you may investigate from Abu from God from heaven? Can you man? And with the danger surrendering our people, they are in the position to tell our people the truth. In this country, we are not needed. We need to trade with care. We need to be very careful. I think that advice I gave 2003, 2023, sorry, 2023 May. April or May, I made that kind of fight. On this media too, I was looking at any officer, you look around inside that vehicle and you are. What I mean by Igbo? By Asa, all this, as far as you now look around that, uh, this is all Easterners. One name, you people should divide that van to another location which they don't send you. Carry that van to another location. That very day, that very 30, 30th May, all of, all, all, all this, uh, this idiot called himself a Guanyam. That nothing good for, that criminal. That very day, did they tell the world that IPOB tactical team of ESN ensure that our children participate in WAYEK without any interruption of any attack have you asked yourself how come those our children participated and nobody touched them because those who are coming to touch them know that they will not go alive they will not live their life they will be they will be snuckered if they put her there they want to go attack all those our children that was participating in the, that exam they know The ones they wanted to use to go there. Some of them knew what could have happened to them. That's why they run away. They sense there are some, some kind of men that is in a strategic area in those schools, in those centers where people will take exam. They went back. IPOB 30th May was not a force to anybody. It is the voluntary spirit that Biafrance exercised on that very day. This is the right thing to do. They do what is right. Then what did the Tunubu do? do? More than 500 youth were slaughtered in Abba because of what Joseph Kane again and the vice president of Ohanes and Dim.
they keep on eating their, their own flesh and their own blood in the name of politics. And they think that nothing will happen to them one day or there will be no revenge. Everything has time on. Let me tell you, anybody who involved in killing any Biafra, other civilians or Biafrans, or those serving in police as a Biafra, serving in Nigeria police, or those serving in army, you are killing them. I'm saying it on media. Everybody, their hand is there. You will pay when time comes. You will pay. The same commander that sent them to that duty, that sent the killers to go and kill them so that they will find a ground to commit havoc in other state. Look at what Martin Chinas and Boris said the other day. I don't know the kind of politics that the evil politicians are playing. Because of one group of people did not vote for you in Enugu. Now you are grabbing their land, giving to terrorists, for terrorists to slaughter them, since they don't vote for you. Imagine, imagine the kind of politics of hatred within. Look at the kind of politics Peter Ma is playing. So you want to slaughter all the whole people in Nosoka simply because they say you are, they, they don't vote for, they voted for another person. So you want to slaughter them and hand over their land to terrorists. And immediately this didn't happen in Abba. They did not even wait. You know, sometimes their desperation over Biafra issue are leading them to do some mistake. This didn't happen. No investigation was carried out. Nothing. Not, the next thing is IPOB. 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 Because they knew that what we should be demanding now and campaigning seriously on the internet is referendum. And I want to seize this opportunity to, they should not distract us. What happened have happened. But all the youth they killed, all Joseph Kano and the APC candidate in Abia State should wait for it. They will pay. I think these two, these two people that we have identified, they will pay dearly for their life. They will use their, they will use their life and their family, wife and children, and pay and replace those souls they have taken in other state. They can never go scot free. It's not possible. Those, our brothers. In Nigeria, I mean, from the kill, Ojo Zokano and his group killed. Kill almost 500 youths after they killed our brothers in, in the uniform. They turn around and slaughter many youth. What they were waiting, they were waiting for IPOB to react or retaliate. But I thank the leadership for their patience. A man being patient does not mean that man is a coward or does not mean that that man cannot do something or cannot hunt after his enemy. Everything is time by time. And it, everything is time by time.
Rodrigo, eu já fui embora, tá? Eu já tá... Eu já fui embora, eu já fui chá pra onde, tá? Entendeu? So, it doesn't mean that they, they don't know what to do or they don't, because that is exactly what they wanted. But I thank the Abia State Governor and his team for understanding fully what happened. And I thank uh, the former Chief of Army Staff of Nigeria, in Hejrika. He, he, he acted like an estate as somebody with perfect experience by calling all the all the well-meaning people in Nigeria state and say oh look at what happened it is nigeria government that killed our brother but let everybody be calm let there be no retaliation let there be no let there, let us maintain calm let our calmness to see if these people if these people will still, if these people will still continue the killing, all of them knew what happened. But Tunubu, Tunubu trying to think uh, he, he can do what is in Biafra, he is a dreamer. Nobody can stop Biafra, not even, not even Jesus Christ. Bring him down and tell him to stop Biafra. Let us see. Bring him down and say, uh, Jesus, go and stop Biafra. Even the God, the Father, will tell him, hey, sit down there. Will you go away from that place? You want to stop my word? You want to stop my own movement? Look at the wasted souls and blood of innocent or just just wasted recently. The same bill they are talking about. Which, which they, for that reason, put scopus of them in Nemo State. With that reason, put Pitamba in Enugu. Is it enough of any cow to, to, to destroy everything planted as cropped in, 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 the, in, the, in the eastern region? Is it not the same thing now they are debating in the house? Is it not the same issue? Peter Mbai is going around in Enugu, grabbing people land to satisfy those that put him in power. When he asks that, they will tell you that the Funani put them in power. Funani put, put you in power over your people. That shows you are a traitor. When people that not from the state are the one imposing criminals on the other people there are something somebody said that are, there are this thing wait let me see if I can find it here I am reading this thing because I want to read this thing out because of because of some of our wicked brothers and sisters in abroad. You see, wicked soul is always a wicked soul. I am telling about this, our brother back home. There are some useless set of people you don't supposed to take as your family members here in abroad. They are so heartless. They are so useless to the point that anything that consign those back home, they don't, they don't care. Upon that they are enjoying the good governance of this of the people of the place they reside, but the wickedness in them, 
they want you those back home to suffer and die. When you ask them, they will say, do you know what I suffer before I got that money to travel down here? So you don't want to, you don't want to give me rest. You want me to be, to be fighting for them. Everybody fight for yourself. When you, when you meet that, what useless you, you people will be telling you? When I suffer too much before I leave that country. Everybody, everybody fight for their own. Nobody was fighting for me when I left. Now me know how I take that money, take waka. This is what they will be responding. Now, I want to, this, look at this salary. I want to say something about this. The battle we are fighting is not a small battle. We are fighting criminals back home. We are fighting deadly wicked souls also in abroad. Now, look at Look at what the governor of Nigeria says they cannot pay. How much is bag of rice in Nigeria? Bag of rice, I hear it's 70,000 or 90,000. 90,000, right? Good. Gary, oil, and the rest of them. Now, he said, governor rejects 100,000 minimum wage proposal. Opt for 70,000. They are begging for 70,000. Now, something caught my attention here. Something caught my attention here. Okay, he said, he said, now nah, I will jump some, okay, let me read everything finish. Let me read everything finish. Governors from across the 36 states in Nigeria have said that a minimum wage higher than 70,000 is not affordable or sustainable for the state. Are you listening? This is the people who will you will be hearing commission of this, commission of work, commission of this, stole from administration. You will hear somebody stole one billion, two billion, five billion. You will hear that governor, it is like Mwike. Mwike stole, is it a 2.7 trillion Mwike stole from River State. This is what I was telling one of them, one of the useless, useless them here that doesn't care about those people who are back home. Now, what makes you think that they don't want to pay this money? They don't want to pay this money to their own citizens. What do you make? Because they, they know that that place is not a country. Everybody is grabbing what they want to grab and be taking it outside for the benefit of those that are outside. And most of them here, I will keep on telling the world the truth. Most of them in, in this Brazil, they say is a third world country. Sometimes when they, when they will open up their mouth to say it, I will laugh. So third world, com, third world country is giving you, how much is that now? I think, they are giving them this is this is the social uh, Brazil social benefit for those who are not that for those that are not working. It's about in Naira now, it's about let me make the mathematics first. The money is 650 reais. That money is roughly 150 something thousand naira. 150 something thousand naira. And most of them have wife, they have children. He will receive. Their wife will receive. Children will receive. Some of them, some of them that are single, they will receive their 650. And when they will tell them, let us do something to save our people. When IPOB initiated this agricultural district. Which most of them are supposed to come and say, IPOB, how do you people want to do this thing? It's a good idea. At least hunger. To save our people from hunger. They don't do it. By the time, that's why I said, me, Lion Man, will never put call to anybody consigning the activities of Biafra. To hell with anybody. Who will expect me to be putting call and be asking them to uh, contribute on this? Contribute. Are you stupid? If you don't want to contribute, leave it there. 
by the time the hand is having those that is contributing, like we, we drop the hand, everybody will finish. The slaughtering of people, the slaughter in Abba. When, when the Funani came with all Joseph Kano to slaughter his people, the, is there anybody they ask? All these youth they carry the, to inside river and be shooting them. Did anybody they, they, they say this one is ITOB? Or this one, did you love Biafra? No. What they know that anybody they find there, you are Igbo, you are gone. That what they did in Abba? As much as you are Igbo, you are gone. That's why we're always telling you people. Remove there's something I want the leadership to do what they can call so bala libo. Call so bago di can they have got the hand on the hand they are being surrendered by the enemy. Imana sometimes you'll be fighting for some wicked souls. You don't they don't even know that the life they are living today, you are the reason why they are still living. Without you, they are gone. They don't even know. I was telling somebody what I said. How which leadership will withdraw ESL for one month and announce it? Just say this month we don't have money to sustain ESL. For this reason, bring them everybody go back to your house. Leave the bush empty. But all these fools, all these fools, criminals recruited by the Nigerian government, paying them money every month, call themselves auto, auto, auto criminal idiotic. All of them, they are, both their father and their mother will run away and, and, and abandon their houses. Most of them will run away and abandon their house. Let me block one idiot here. Maybe this one never know how I how I, how I operate. I don't throw that nonsense. Block the idiot immediately. So this is it. I said, let these people one day announce it and take it. Both all of them. All of all the, even these politicians that is carrying escort, they will, all of them will they will they will leave they will leave Ebola and run away. They will leave Ebola and run away. They were the first people that will run away. Leave that place. They will know that yeah, Funan will come. They will run away. Maybe that idiot, that, that, that criminal that kept my page, maybe they don't inform, they don't inform him about Lion Man. <laughs> Those that know Lion Man should go and inform him that I am not monetized. My page is very, very free. If you come here, if I'm educating you and speaking my truth, you come here and want to start talking rubbish out of your criminality mind, my mind, I'll block you. You will never have access to my page anymore block you and block your ass if you open another one again another i block i ask simon about what i did to him every time if i'm broadcast you come here with fake account i block the ass of that idiot maybe they think they think we are we are we are in the same category robbing 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 acts together Most of them don't know. Most of them don't, they don't have the idea. But as, as some men have sacrificed their life and said, oh no, we will defend this land against the terrorists.
Every month they will run, they will go and collect the money. And they will be happy. Why their brothers and their sister back home can't even receive even common 70,000? Uh, there, there's something here. They said, uh, we, we, we. that place caught my attention. I nearly, I nearly cried. The governors made a remark when they met under the Nigerian Governors Forum to discuss the economic situation and the ongoing debate around the minimum wage. They considered the options ranging from 60,000, which was offered to labor by the federal government before the strike, to 70,000, which currently being paid by the Edo state government. Despite their effort, they were unable to reach, look at what they're paying to some, some people in Nigeria. 70,000 Naira. Then, do you see why there is criminality activities in all the whole offices in Nigeria? Do you see? Do you see why there is criminality in police? Do you see where there is criminality in army? Do you see why there is criminality in custom? Do you see any office you put here in Nigeria? Corruption everywhere. Criminals everywhere because of the nonsense. Even I was, you see, even the slave, white slave masters can never treat black. During the slave, the kind of treatment Nigerian government officials are giving to her citizen, eh? Slave master did not even try such thing during the time of slavery. During the time of slavery, the white people can never wicked you to the level of Somebody reported their account. I need to. So I need to answer some question they are sending. Is there, they reported their account. I think is the guy used another account to report the account. It is where we call. We continue. I'm back. I will reply to Facebook. I don't know where I am violating anything. Imagine I'm not violating anything. They they are sending to me here. No, it's normal. So continue. So look at this thing now. Look at this minimum. Look at this minimum wage. Somebody have the mind to pay her own citizen this kind of minimum wage at this time, at this very century. What what can one do with seventy thousand for for goodness sake? If somebody that has family, what will you do with seventy thousand naira? minimum wage can somebody tell me okay now he said consider the option ranging from 60 to to 60,000 which was offered to labor by the federal government before the strike now despite their effort they were unable to reach a consensus on a uniform amount and have instead set up a committee headed by Imo state government Torture. Headed by Himo State Governor, Hope Ozadema, to review the options and make recommendations. You see, carrying the fate of people to, to give a murderer and, the, and another, another demon. Look at it. Okay. He said, according, uh, he said, according to sources at the meeting, the governors are in agreement that a minimum wage of 100,000 is not feasible and uh, some states are still struggling to pay the current minimum wage of 30,000 which came into effect in 2020, 2019, 2019 in 2019 and when you tell our brothers that are here their children are going to school attending school for free If you ask them to do something so that we will free our people from Nigeria, so that they will begin to express the sweetness of this word, they don't want to know. They don't want to know. I am talking about government of this country. The oil we have, the gas we have, they don't have it. 
the amount of oil and gas we have, our own is our own oil and gas is times hundred of what these people have. But they are paying their they are paying their own citizen, all the whole citizens of their of their of this country, they are paying them six hundred each person. Now, if the family is six, they will pay the six hundred and fifty into six persons in that family. And they did not stop there. The Yorubas that live in this country, they receive the money. The Biafras that live in this country, they receive the money. And the same people will be the same people that one politician from Nigeria will call them. Instead of them to challenge that governor or challenge that minister, and ask them, why are you treating our people like slaves? Why are you treating your own people like slaves? Challenge them. Do you know what they will do? The same people, the same criminals here, that are receiving gov another, gov another country's government money for free. Let Hobos of them, as a murderer now said, he want to come to this country. You will see the same people from Imo State. They will rally around. Some group of these criminals will rally around. They will rally around to make sure that they organize how he will come and give them more share from what he has stolen from Imo State. And give them more share for the organ he has sold he have exported out of Imo State by killing Imo State youth. The same people. And when you challenge them, when you challenge them, they will tell you, uh, you are disturbing us. You are disturbing us. Mind your business. This wickedness of this salary is it not come to attack anybody, attack any minister, attack any Nigerian politician in abroad, is more than enough to attack them. We are not asking you to attack them because of Biafra. But you have every reason to attack them. For being so wicked at this 21st century, treating their own people more harshly than the slave master did during the time of slavery. I will tell you somebody I say, if the white, if the black people are in position of the white in this world, oh look, my God. Imagine people treating their own color in this manner. Now let that kind of people now be in the position of the white people. Do you think that white people will breed? They will they will suffocate them to death. But what I'm saying is, most of you will forget where you come from. You will say the white people, they are very wicked. They are white people, they are very this. They are, they are racist. They are this. In your own country, how is your police treating you? How is your own police treating you in your own country? How is your own army treating you in your own country? How is their own politicians treating you? Is there any Nigerian that said, ah, I have enjoyed being a Nigerian. This is what I enjoy as a Nigerian. Tell me one Nigerian that would say, this is what I have enjoyed as a Nigerian. Tell me that thing. I will drop the effort. Come to my come to my bed. Let us do open challenge, open debate. If you win me, I drop the effort. I will one question I will ask you. Tell me one thing that make you a proud Nigeria. I want you to point out one thing. Because security zero. Salary zero. Development, zero. Electricity, zero. Education, zero. 
Point one thing out. Only one. We investigate it. It be true. I drop Biafra for you. Imagine. Sometimes I used to sit down and be going to. Excuse me. Let me. Sometimes I used to sit down and begin to calculate how these white countries managed to pay all their citizens such amount of money. At the end of the day, they will still pay the foreigners within them. Everybody in this country go to hospital for free. Everybody in this country go to school for free. If you want to go to somewhere now, like from Lagos to, to Benin, you don't have transport money. Only what you need to do is to come out on the bus stop and the stand on that bus stop. The bus will take you to Tresion. You, you will just talk to the driver. I don't have money. Help me. Driver will open the door, the door at the back, ask you to enter through that because of camera. So the camera will see you that you did not pay. It is government is managed individuals invested in those balls. The government is managing it for them. You will drop inside the train station. You will still go and meet the ticketers, those who will buy the ticket. That means you don't have money. You have checked yourself, no money. You meet somebody, you meet the ticket there. Ah, please, can you open this iron for me? Let me pass it. I don't have money to pay. Immediately, they will, they will clock the card that the government give them to pass for those who does not have money. They will clock it. You pass. You enter the train. Go far journey. Finish your activity. Still come back the way you go. That is what is called being proud of the country. Why would Pepsi be proud of that particular that particular place that is giving them this kind of comfort? Why won't the why won't person be proud of such place? Can you receive such comfort with all the oil and the gold and the silver you have? And the kind of they can they they are digging in the north. That is the most expensive in the whole world. Upon all those things, can you enjoy one thing in Nigeria? No, come on, come on, electricity they can't give you. Come on, running water in your various in your in your various they can't provide for you. Education they can't give you. Hospital they can't give you. And we are talking about setting the people free. Because you manage to have the privilege to find yourself and your family in abroad. You are enjoying, you are receiving the benefit from that particular government and you don't want to. Most of them here, what they do is, if they hustle, 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 receive government money, receive hustle, 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 they get up to $10,000 or they, they will run, go home. They will go there and do it, Mapanda. Some of them, they will come back and say, I, I sleep with two gears in a hotel. I sleep with three gears. That is only slave, slaving their own people. Even they are doing worse than the whites that I, during the time of white people enslavement. They, they are doing worse. Because the slave master has that time now. They will call women. You, 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 come enter my room. What is exactly your politician doing today in Nigeria? Is it not the same treatment of slave master you are treating the common citizens? Which can never happen in this country. You were you were local government chairman or governor. They see you with another woman that is not your wife. You are finished. You, you will lose your office. You will lose your, you will definitely lose your office. It is called says scandal. It can manage, 
you can manage the public, they will remove you from office. Because you have to be very faithful to your marriage. That is what will demonstrate the faithfulness that you will, you will carry out in that office. So if you are not faithful with your marriage, how can you be faithful with the office handed over to you? The white are very, they are very sensible. But look at their governors. Now, boss, now, now, coastal boss, they take good, they bring women for them. I remember Governor Odele, Peter Odele, when he was uh, uh, governor in, uh, <laughs> in River State. One certain time, he came to Ibadan. Now, coastal boss, now, they take good, carry women inside the University of Ibadan, can't give up. Costa boss, I am not talking about Costa boss. These are the things we see. We, we look, look, look. No, no, this is not, this is not, it is irritating. You bring Costa boss and pack. All these, our guests will be, will be dropping from the Costa boss. Peter Audrey will be sitting down. Where he is sitting down. He will be looking at them. He will look at them. And the what? You'll be looking at them. He said, turn, 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 turn around, turn around, you turn around. Then the guy that made the connection will be there. Watching all of them. The same thing with a uh, former governor of Enugu, uh, C C uh, C uh, what is it, uh, Chima, Chima, Siva, uh, Siva, I think it's Siva, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you what they're doing, these ones. Anytime they come around, we are around, this is what you'll be seeing. Gears will line up. I oh, what I said. Go and read the history of slave masters. Nigeria, poli Nigeria politicians are more destructive and more wicked than the slave masters. This is why when they do two, two kilometer road, they want you to praise them. Because you must praise the master now. You are a slave. They are the master. They are not going there to serve you. They are going there to enslave you. Yeah, they are they under age is okay. Zip person. What okay? Zip person as a governor. Time came to the point that okay, Zip person don't sleep with a mature ladies anymore. People reveal that I was like thinking that this was a lie. Time came, he doesn't sleep. If he reach twenty, okay, Zip person can't sleep with you. At 20 years of uh, gear age, it doesn't, what he was demanding is 14. And they are bringing the 14 to them. 14, 13. 14, 13. Pedophile. What they learned from their master, Funani. What they learned from their master, Funani. Is he the former governor of Anambra? Obiano. <laughs> this is this is terrible. But they can't pay, they can't pay, they can't even pay hundred thousand naira. Are you telling me now everybody in abroad want to save? Our people back home concerning this hundred thousand, we can't do it. We can't do it. Everybody, this is not the kind of I, this is IPOB. Mount pressure, mount pressure on every all the all the Adobe people in abroad, both Europe and Asia, and they, they will have a forum. Mount pressure to Edo state government. You must pay our people hundred thousand. The money is there. We don't want to know. 
That one you want to loot and take it abroad. This time around, re re reduce the amount. Reduce the amount you want to take away and use to pay our people 100,000. Then, all your state people in abroad, we do the same. Lagos state people in abroad, we do the same. Other state people in abroad, we do the same. Uh, uh, Anambra, we do the same. They have, they have unions here. But what are their unions doing? Their unions are for the politicians to give them their own court. What is going on here? What is happening here? Oh, God of Nazareth. What is going on here? Oh, wow. This, this report of this Facebook is, is, is troubling me on today's... don't know why. So are you telling me, by the time all the forums, all the union in abroad gather and say no, this enslavement of our people by you politicians should stop now. Even the 100,000 is not enough. So give them that little 100,000. Nothing must be cut out from it. Are you telling me they will not, they will not pay? Because where they are not, where they were, where they have this courage is that they have supporters abroad, they have supporters at home. By giving them ultimatum, if you don't pay this money to our people, you as a commissioner in a do state, if you see your leg here in abroad, we are going to deal with you. You from Lagos, if you see any of the ghost administrative person in that, that visitor, you will beat hell out of them. Are you telling me they will not pay? They will pay. The money is there. The, the money is too many. The money, the, even the kind of money they make in that seat as a governor, and the, the kind of money they make is to support to the point that they don't know even know what they use the money for. But because of Britain have told them maintain slavery in Africa and Nigeria, help us sustain slavery. Help us sustain slavery. Do not allow slavery to be abolished. I think I have to stop this. I have to stop this. They keep on sending me email. Somebody is reporting my this. Thing. Let me resolve this thing. Maybe tomorrow I will continue this broadcast or on, on Sunday. You see, the other time now, they, 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 I was kicked out. I reply what they sent to me. They bring it back again. Now they are sending another one. I will stop this program here on Sunday. Let me resolve this. Let me send email to these people. The attack is too much. The attack is too much. I will stop here.